Namaste. In this video, we will be seeing another complication of diabetes, the cardiac complication. So very often uh, you would have heard of people having some silent heart attacks and so on, which leads to a fatal event in life. In this video, I will try to summarize what are the usual symptoms of a heart event. So what we usually call as a acute myocardial infarction or a heart attack in layman term, it uh, typically is a severe pain, chest pain, usually retrosternal area that is behind this part, this center of the chest associated with palpitations, breathlessness, sweating and so on. But in a diabetic, it can, it may not be any of these. It may be some kind of acidity feeling or some burning sensation. People very often mistake it for acidity. So any pain below the jawline and above the umbilicus or the belly button has to be thought of as a, a cardiac event occurring. So one Sunday I get a call from a young lady. Uh, she told me that her father is around 65 year old, a diabetic and he had frozen shoulder pain over the left uh, shoulder area. I said, uh, you cannot wait at home. You have to immediately go to a hospital and get an ECG then. ECG did reveal some changes. It was a, a massive uh, heart attack and immediately started on treatment and he is all good. So this is what very subtle symptoms. We may uh, confuse it with any other symptom. So as I said, at times these symptoms could be so subtle they, that people would just have an ECG change when they come for a routine checkup without even any pain or aches or anything. So this is called a silent uh, heart attack or disease. Diabetics are much more prone for these kind of diseases and hence we have to prove ourselves strong. There has to be a high index of suspicion whenever such people complain of any such pain so that uh, these events are detected so early that their life can be saved. So how do we diagnose it? Uh, a yearly ECG checkup is extremely important in every diabetic. This ECG is a non-specific thing of course, but definitely does help us to know the rate, rhythm and uh, any cardiac event happening in the body. So if at all, I have had people with heart blocks, uh, which could be diagnosed in an ECG and uh, pacemaker implantation and so on were done so that uh, he was saved. Likewise, any change in the ECG can be followed up, can be compared with the later ECGs so that any events happening in the body could be diagnosed. Along with ECG, there are other tools like a stress test or a treadmill test. So under the supervision of a cardiologist, you are made to walk on a treadmill and serial ECGs are monitored to know if there are any changes occurring. So this is also a very useful test, but uh, I reiterate it needs to be done under the monitoring of a cardiologist. Now there is another uh, test done by cardiologist called a 2D echo test. 2D echo with color Doppler of the heart. So this again tells us the chambers of the heart, the four chambers, the valves, the function, how it is pumping and so on. This uh, 2D echo uh, test also is important for us to uh, kind of uh, give certain treatment. Some diabetic medications which are needed or contraindicated in cardiac events, we get to understand those and uh, accordingly prescription is given. So these are some simple tests which are done on a yearly basis so that any of the adverse cardiac events are negated or they are avoided. Now there are certain other blood investigations which help us to make a diagnosis of some cardiac events happening. Uh, the cardiac enzymes usually we what we call like TROPT and so on. These days BNP and pro-BNP 
and they really aid us to know if at all a breathlessness has a cardiac cause or no almost 15 years back it was my thesis for my uh, post graduation so these are small blood tests which help us to know any cardiac event happening apart from that there are other investigations like uh, uh, lipoprotein a then the uh, lipid profile where in the ldl cholesterol levels are high which all are predictors of some cardiac events so if we keep these things normal it definitely does help so in people with the higher homocysteine levels cardiac events are common and vitamin b12 deficiency is one of the reasons for this say these are some of the tests that your doctor would advise you to diagnose a cardiac event early or to diagnose a uh, indicator of cardiac event early so that it could be prevented and uh, as always if you keep your numbers good your uh, sugar levels your uh, blood pressure levels your lipid profile all these events can be avoided take care and bye